Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the deep playthrough of Grand Turismo 4. I am changing the renderer because I have to start in Vulcan, which actually um, allows for um, capture in shadow play otherwise you have to turn on your desktop capturing and stuff in DirectX 12 and it has better uh, I think slightly better reflections but it has severe slowdown in car menu so now I moved it to DirectX 12 because we will be going into the car menus in the previous episodes we did this race the first uh, series of the game Sunday Cup and now we are going to do the front Wheel drive front engines challenge um, and for that I say we mix it up. We have an FF car right now, but I'm not going to do all these races in the Lupo. Alright, where is our garage? What is the quickest way to get to your garage? Ah, there are more used car showrooms. I was not aware. I actually heard about that, that there are actually five or something, but I only see two, to be honest. Historic showroom. Um, let's check it out. Used car showroom two. And one. So we have uh, one and two and historic, I think. So, um, let's sell our car. Well, we will not be getting a lot for it, I expect. But it is something. Um, see you later, it was fun driving with you. Um, now we are... This one is a, a special type of car that we can sell, but for no money. It is no valuation. Value is zero. And then this one I want to keep, it's just a cool car. Some of them, yeah, I just want to uh, keep in my garage. And then this one, yeah, this is also FF. We can just uh, race this car, right? Although I do think it will be pretty tricky. Doesn't look like the fastest car uh, to get around. We could try it. Right, let's just try it. Maybe the uh, competition will be uh, a bit leveled towards it. A new city course has been added to city courses. Special stage route five. By the way, on Vulcan with slightly better reflections, I did some comparison yesterday. It's, it's hardly noticeable, but I do think there may be some. In night races, it also has extreme slowdown. So this new course, this is where I tested that. Special stage route five. Uh, racing itself is fine, but replays slow down to, to a crawl. Um, what the hell is this? To upgrade your car, visit the tune shop in Otobianchi. All right, where is Otobianchi? Is that a, uh, here we go. Classics. How many cars does Auto Bianchi have? Yeah, only one. Alright, uh, I'm not going to move too much into tuning already. Let's do that when it's really needed. Feels a little bit like uh, not cheating, but yeah, um, I also want a little bit of a challenge. Um, so yeah, let's see where we get to and also let's quickly see what we otherwise can buy. Front front. CRX, Panda, Infinity. We have a 19.5K. It's a shame that you cannot really uh, sort or order here. We can even buy a Celica GTR. Holy shit. 
Ah, uh, that's a really old... No, that's not even the real old Celica. Alright, that's a pretty cheap car. Prelude VTEC. Also pretty cool. It's 200 horsepower. Yeah, but if I get into this car, I will win everything. Right, what else do we have? Front rear, mid rear, Civic. This one is a little bit less, 167. But you can also make it a pretty cool car. A Del Sol, probably the same as the other one. Ah, no, slightly different. I don't really like the styling of that one. A Sierra, never heard of Sierra. It's a bummer that there are no... Yeah, I don't really like that one with its Lambo doors. But I, do, I don't understand why there's not a little icon of the car uh, to... Uh, help visualize some of the more obscure ones. Oh, the, all right, the Honda Beat actually is mid-engined. Pretty fun car. Uh, Masta, Masta. What the hell? Why is it double Masta? I think that's a typo. Skyline. MX-5, front, rear. Mitsubishi FTO. Yeah, also a pretty fast car, I guess. Another FTO. Looks to be exactly the same. Why is this one almost half cheaper? It only has 10, 30 newton meter less torque and only 2000 kilometers more miles. That's really weird. I would go for this one then. Seems like a bargain. Uh, Impreza, Lancer, Skyline, Cappuccino. Ah, that's also front rear, pretty funny. Another Civic. Uh, this is, what is the order here? It all seems a bit random to be honest. It's not price, ascending or descending. It's not alphabetically, it's not car brands because we already saw some of these Civics. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I already saw Specific like this up more uh, up. This is a totally random list, which is not not bad, but it's quite a long list, and then it makes comparing etc. Uh, all a bit annoying. An eclipse. Three thousand GT. I find this also. I think pretty much an under. Uh, rated Japanese uh, sports car. This car, I think, has may have four wheel drive uh, and four wheel steering, and it has like a bi turbo three liter V6 or something. I don't know exactly, but it's quite an advanced car, which is still super relatively cheap. All right, and Princess Sedan, another Lancer. Daihatsu Move. Nope. Man, there are way too many cars here. This takes forever. Uh, NSX, pretty cool car. Or very cool car. Skyline. 95. Miata. Again, randomly a Miata all at the bottom, while there was also one in the middle. RX-7, we can buy an RX-7, but it's uh, front rear, so I'm gonna do it. If I look at this, if we're not going with that car, that Auto Bianchi, I would go with the... Uh, uh, is there no way to order this or sort this? I don't think so. Uh, I would be going with ah, here. 
here's another. The Celica. Oh, we already saw that one. So we have the four wheel drive and the FF layouts. Uh, but what was the car? I think it was a Honda. Where is it? seven and a half this one has 30 horsepower is less and is 91 but it's more expensive here so if you really want to compare all this stuff it really uh, takes quite some time where was the Seneca here 30 horsepower more 300 dollars less Somehow I must have accidentally tripped the button. Uh, anyways, let's see if there's any... Yeah, this looks like a pretty good deal actually. I also find that an underrated car. Alfa Romeo 156. We cannot uh, afford that one. Ah, at no. I wanted to say at least this one is ordered by price, but it's not. Mercedes A, nope. Honda Prelude 216 220. This one is much. Uh, expensive I think. Also don't really like the styling. A Daihatsu Storia. Nope. For Taurus. That's like a minivan, I think. Yeah, looks a bit like a van. Um, Integra Type R DC2. Yeah, but this one I think it's a little bit too expensive. But in this car, you will win everything, I think. Nissan March. Never heard of it. Nope. That's. I think we have uh, this one in uh, Europe as well, but under a different branding. I forgot which. Uh, what it's called. Maybe a Starlet. Mini Starlet. Uh, NSX. Way too expensive. Skyline. Expensive. Mm, 
S2000, yeah, that's from rear vids. No, nope. it's like just a little. That was a Toyota. Honda Accords 216, 220 again for 12k. Yeah. Horsepower and uh, torque. It does have 45k, and indeed, I, I watched a video on YouTube uh, about uh, tips and tricks for the tuning and stuff. And you do lose, I think, at maximum 5% uh, engine power if you have a tired engine. Uh, a Lancer we have over here. Front, rear, Acura. Only six, 260. What the hell is this? I don't know that car. Um, Civic Type R. Yeah, 30. Kilometers or uh, 30k kilometers. Uh, a Golf 4 GTI, also too expensive. S2000 from rear Kia Renault Sports. I played this one in GT7. Uh, it was a really tough race in Alsace. It's in the uh, playthrough of GT7. Um, Toyota Prius, no. Interested in that one at all. So, if I would buy anything other than the Auto Bianchi, I think I would be going still with this one. It does have quite a high mileage, but it's also really not that expensive. But um, let's also then check out what the historic showroom is. Alright, up to what year is this? Because a bluebird doesn't sound that old. Ah yes, this one is quite old. Uh, a Celica Isuzu Piazza. It's like a little transporter. Ah no. Man, what the hell? Oh, the wrong button. Uh, Honda City. Yeah, this is also already a classic car. Anyways, there's way too much to go around to really compare in a relatively doable time frame. But let's just only look at the um, front FF cars yeah, this is more of the same as the one that we just saw right all right this is an old CRX which one did I just saw this one? No. Yes, this one, the City Turbo. So this is 4300 from 83. And here we have a today for half the price from 85, which I think looks very similar. Yeah, pretty similar. What's the 30 HP, 43 newton meter? 108 HP, 159 Newton meter. All right, so that one is way more powerful. All right, four wheel drive, Nissan B. And there are so many cars I never heard of. Honda Accords Coupe. Uh, 
some exa man. This really is quite a chore to get through here. There's too much cars here. Without any icon. So you really have to get into uh, all the submenus to see what the car is. Looks a little bit like a DeLorean uh, styling from the back. Uh, front, rear, front, rear. Toyota Carina. Bitsi Minica. Nope, we already drove the whole series in the Lupo, similar car, I would say. Nissan Pau. Nope. Skyline GTS. Right, so this is like a lower end Skyline. Still looks pretty epic. Let's just try the Auto Bianchi. Uh, let's start slow. So now I can let's see what the events are. Where there are a lot of night races. No, maybe this one, I don't know. But for now, let's change the renderer to Vulcan because we will not be really in the menus anymore car menus. I do think it's probably not really needed. Ah, you see it already slows down in this menu. With that small car on there turning around. It's just crazy. Anyways, we don't need to stay here for long. Maybe I'm overdoing it, switching that renderer, uh, because I didn't see that much difference in reflections, but on very close inspection, it looked like a little bit higher resolution. Uh, reflections of the cars in the replays, etc. Um, oh, we will never win this. We will be going up against an Alfa Romeo two and a half liters. Anyways, we um, a slightly uh, better reflections because apparently according also to the uh, tool tips in the emulator the blending accuracy is, is more uh, capable in the Vulcan renderer anyways I, I'm afraid I have change it back because we have to uh, get back into the car menu to buy that Honda I will never win this unless we tune this car Right. I'm not sure why the screen is. It was uh, vibrating a bit. Man, this is a pretty damn cool track, by the way. Forgot to see which track it is. This is not gonna work, right? Let's just drive one round to explore the track. No. I don't think this is realistic. Which I do like in this game. It's, it really leaves it up to you how to tackle races that are um, too hard instead of artificially making everything foolproof and too easy holy 
shit, there were some uh, horses to the right. Or cattle, I don't know what it was. It does seem a little bit empty over here. Pretty cool track. Really forgot about the, its existence. Alright, but let's get out of here. Uh, exit. Quickly see a little bit of the replay quality. Ah, now there are people over there, but not at the backstage. Right, or at the um, grandstand at the back. This song does not contain a specific subject. Right, um, so we can do two things, that is upgrading this car or buying the Integra for 7k or something. Also the best fun is of course also a factor, but otherwise costs are of course also a factor. So let's see what it would take to um, upgrade this one. Man, there really are a lot of... Um, Menus to click through. Uh, this is only one HP. Exhaust and air filter, semi racing. Yeah, but it's also really pretty expensive. 2800. That's a third of the price of that uh, Integra. Or whatever car it was. Uh, can we just upgrade the engine? What does that do? 9 HP 30 HP For 11k No, I'm going to go with the uh, Integra car I'm afraid Sorry Otobianchi We will be riding later Which year is that Otobianchi? It's a, also a classic, right? Yeah, 79 we can use it later on in uh, classic races or something. Alright, so there will be a little bit of slowdown here. Oh no, not in this menu, I don't think. Submenus. Uh, where is the Honda? Yeah, let's just go with this one. Here, somehow in this... Ah, it also slows down here. So annoying. Surfing. To upgrade your car, visit the tune shop in Honda. Specific racing events can also be entered here. Ah, so there are also racing events, brand events. One make races. All right. Man, there is so much. If all these brands have one make races, uh, then it's totally crazy. Um, to try and get 100% in this game, there's so much. Five race races series, crazy. 
Um, anywho, let's do some maintenance. I think we do that over here. And let's slam a wing on it. Which I think is quite uh, impactful for downforce. Do we need downforce on that track? There were some corners, yes? Right. Quite a lot of corners. Um, wash, no. Nope. very random. Now it doesn't slow down, but when the car is lower to the ground, it did slow down. No clue what's happening with that emulator. Uh, all right. Here, now it will slow down. Ah, uh, that's because it is turning. But it's not even a high resolution reflection. I have no idea what's happening. Similar wheel that I have, uh, I had on a road car, on a real life car. I do like it, this one. Let's take it. Oh shit! I didn't even check the uh, price. Ah, it's 500, I think. All right, enough for the wing. A B. Get their favorite car washed and cleaned. Alright, this one is a little bit different, but also more expensive. Just like this one. Or are they all 1200? I have no clue. Double wing is a little bit too much. This is like an. Uh, it's a. Uh, Angles downwards at the ends, which could be cool, but not on this car. This one has little winglets. Also, and this is just the color, okay. Uh, and this is standards. BB and AB. I don't really see the difference between... Ah, this is a double one. This is a single one. But does it also apply here? Why is it so convoluted with these ah, white, S and B, B, S and W are the colors. So the first letter is the type of wing. And then you have the color, but why not black? Satire or something? I don't know, this is gray, why, why is this a no idea. Uh, this is A. Why do we go from A to C again? So you have A, so this is straight. And then we here we have angles and more exotic or something. So you go to D, C, B, A, and then we go back to C. Don't ask me. It's also a learning moment uh, for me on this. I'm just going to go with either this one or this one. Let's go with the single one. And now it would be nice if 
we could uh, change the color of our wheels. Um, let's wash it. Car white. Can we paint it? I hope so. Or can't we paint cars that we bought second hand? Tuner Village. How to paint your car? It is possible in this game, right? Or is it only possible when you buy a new car, goddammit? Because I really want this car to be white. Which I find the um, Integra and uh, yeah, color, the Type R uh, Integra, I really find white fitting to that. This is where we just were, I think. Rigidity, which can also affect handling, I think. Where do you do that? I think maybe there is a shop that's not yet opened up. Or maybe it's just in the tuner village. buy a fully tuned car from the get-go but these are hidden in the tuner menus here we go this is what I mean uh, rigidity, rigidity refresher plan apparently increasing rigidity can actually reduce your um, handling but this one uh, does help I think but uh, I find it way too expensive. All right, let me very quickly look something up on the internet. Uh, GT4, how to paint used car. Where can I change my car's color? There is no way to change the color of a car after it has been acquired. If you purchase a brand new car, whether from the New York Classics area or give them dealerships, <coughs> um, of a given dealership, you can select the desired color from a menu that opens just prior to purchase confirmation. But if you win the car on purchase, it's from the use. Uh, but if you win the car or purchase it from the used car lots, then you are stuck with the color it has already. God damn it, I wish I knew that before. Because I really don't like the color of this car now. Uh, and also, I wanted to see, can we paint wheels? How to paint wheels. If I do GT4 paint wheels, it only goes to the Porsche Cayman GT4. Let's write it fully out. Grand Turismo 4. Oh, fuck. How to paint wheels. Uh, 
Um, and yes, a search for paint restricted to threat type is going to teach you what to tell you. Uh, one moment. Alright, I will uh, look at that in between episodes because this is taking too long. Google is really getting worse and worse for uh, accurate results, I find. So it's, it's not a good search engine anymore. Uh, anywho, we were in the beginner event. We have a very ugly colored car. But let's see if we have a better chance. So this is midfield raceway, two laps. Here we go, no more kidding around. Why is the screen on the right shaking? Or, uh, seems like that sign was vibrating, I don't know. Alright, at least we're keeping up much better, I would say. But these are, of course, oh, that was my bad. These are, I think, high RPM engines, till the VTEC kicks in. I'm not even sure whether this one has VTEC. But you really, I think, want to keep it high up in the revs. Man, this is... Screen settings. No. Oh. I see a lot of aliasing. I don't really find the... Uh, I loaded this game from a save state in the emulator. I'm not sure whether that correctly applies to 480p. So I see way too much... Jaggies. Right, here we go. No more kidding around. Yes. Probably best to stay behind this car because it is a guide as to where to brake and how much to brake. So maybe I will just stay behind him. Uh, I do. And then overtake him on the straight, but that's also not really possible. I will probably. Uh, I will just pass him. Holy shit, this is what I mean. I break rope braked way too much because I don't really know the track. This is a pretty fast car actually that boot up. There's a good chance that he will catch me because of my overbraking.
results in much more jaggies. Let's quickly watch the replay. See if that is going fine with Vulcan. Whether there are any slowdowns. By the way, I put that wing on there, I should have adjusted the dump force. I'm not sure where I can do that actually. Maybe in the garage? Anyways, again, I find it almost still more believable replays and uh, graphically uh, even the color tone, etc. more appealing than uh, modern GT games. Maybe I'm just stuck in the past, but it looks just... Yes, modern games are higher resolutions, but they're also oversaturated. Yeah, I do think Red Crystal itself can look amazing, but... This for almost a 20 year old game. It's really still up there. If not in some shots better. Not necessarily this track and car combination. It's not, uh, but sometimes you really have shots that are near photorealistic in the, in the replay. So let's quickly see if there is somewhere where we can adjust. Ah, let's first see that 480p mode is enabled correctly. It should be. Yes, it is. So I don't know why there were so many jaggies in that. Uh, maybe if I. Disable and re-enable. Yes, so I do, do think that it was not at 480p. Well, it did say so, but there's no screen flickering or anything going on. And so I'm pretty sure it was already at uh, the, the, the normal mode. Well, it indicated from that safe state 480p, but I'm pretty sure that if I... Here, this is what I mean. Now it actually is, is changing, the, the screen went black for a while. Well. It's actually changing the mode. So pretty sure we were not in 480p. So that's a learning moment. Even if you start the game from a, a, a safe state in the emulator, I think that can reset itself. Let's do a very quick comparison run. Regarding the jaggies. Right, that sign is still vibrating. I'm now more in, uh, curious about jaggies in the guardrails and in front 
the white line of the, um, the track outline and also the curves yeah this is i think this is real for uh, atp so that safe state does not seem to do for atp yeah this is much a much quieter image no uh, flickering or aliasing or at least much less so. Almost none actually. So yeah, also the... Um, the replay that I showed was not... Uh, well, I did comment that it uh, looked nice. It's not... Uh, it was not the best fidelity. Although this... I do see some flickering in this uh, guardrail from a distance. I don't know. But just to be sure, I will, each time I start the game, I will manually set the... Uh, set the progressive modes. And I will just not start the game from a safe state. I don't think it really is needed. Uh, Alright, so that was the test. And now let's quickly see if we can... What kind of tires am I on? on? It says SM, it says sports medium. This car will not be on sports, right? This car will, by default, I would say, be on uh, comfort tires. I'm just curious about the, the number that was coming up, the, the music in the replay. I press it away too quickly. Yes, this is the, the song I was expecting it to be. Remix. Or at least. I think I knew which song it is supposed to be, but now I'm doubting. Yeah, I don't know who really knows so. So that is. Alright, let's get out of here and before we end, quickly check where to adjust the downforce or maybe that menu is not available yet i have no idea maybe in the garage um, yeah, you cannot do stuff here only get in and sell Unless there are some button uh, options that I'm unaware of, that are not indicated on the screen. Uh, how to tune a car? We want to tune the downforce. Here you can only install stuff. Where is the tuning section? I have no clue. Could 
be that things will open up later or something. Here, power and speed, there we go. Oh, no, this is just testing. Maybe just uh, before you start the race in the menu, there will be a tuning menu. Here, settings. Where do we have rear wing or downforce? No, you can only... Ah, fuck me. In this car, this was enabled. Active stability management. No, we don't want that. Screw that. Um... But now... Here we go. There are actually quite some uh, settings. All right, do we want downforce or not? Um, let's just bump it all up and see what the difference is. Uh, driving aids were off, right? Then TCF, yeah, that's traction control, right? No, we don't want that neither. Gunner. I'm not sure whether it, the game remembers that when you go somewhere else to another event. I assume so. to end this episode here and continuing in the next one guys hope you enjoyed hope to see you there for the meantime do not forget always do keep on gaming later